Hey everybody, it is me Amanda, and I am back with another subscription box Saturday. It's been a hot minute since we filmed one of these, but I am so excited. I, as I mentioned in my New Year's resolution video, I am working on getting less things and less stuff, and part of that resolution is only getting one mystery box a month for all of 2021. So this month was Bibbidi's turn, and next month should if I did everything right, it should be magic at your door for February. And then March would be Beer Guest Express. <laughs> but I'm so excited about what's in here because, guys, on the plastic that was wrapped on the outside, there was a fragile sticker, which means I'm pretty sure I'm super going to be excited about what's in here. So well, let's open it up. Here's the box. It's back to their like regular non-holiday box art, which I also do love. But, yeah, no. I don't want to get in here, guys. It's been a hot minute since I opened a Bibbidi box. Ooh. So we have our folder. And, ooh, we got another one of the Christmas bags, which not sad about because I love Christmas. Oh, it sounds like stuff may be broken. I hope not. Alright, so Farm Fresh, and it says Roses, Chocolate, Candy, Open Daily. Oh, it's like Valentine's Day themed. Cute! Awesome. And their little truck, which I think is like their new theme from Christmas and stuff, has like all the love heart balloons. I love that. And then obviously it has our spoiler sheet, which I will put to the side. Right. First thing in here, <laughs> I did have this on my wish list, so I'm kind of excited that I got it. It is an Alien Remix uh, Funko Pop Pocket Pop, and it is Buzz Lightyear dressed as the alien. So, not sad about this at all. Um, I think my best friend has one, and so like we can be twinsies now. So that's fun and exciting. Oh, it's another item that I actually have on my wish list because I love Coco, as many of you guys know. And it is a Coco keychain. And it says seizure moment. But I saw this on the wish list. I normally have um, keychains and stuff and Funko Pops, like, not on my preferences just because... Um, I'm pretty particular about which ones I get, but since those were on the wish list, I went ahead and hearted them because I didn't already have them. And I think that Coco went like keychain will look great on my Coco backpack from Lana's Fly. <coughs> All right. Oh, okay. I also put on there that I would not be sad about Christmas items. So I got one of their little buttons that says, Have yourself a Mickey Little Christmas. Which is so cute. With their little red truck. What it was decked out for Christmas. And then. Once upon a Christmas time at Christmas. And it has Mickey and Minnie in our favorite. Fab Five. Maybe it's not Fab Five. It's just Mickey and Minnie. And some other friends. Alright up next. Oh. I got a Pizza Planet Iron on Patch. is really cool. And it is a lounge by patch. I didn't know that they made patches. It's cool. Oh, this is kind of cool. It is another, um, it's a park exclusive and it's another Christmas item. It, it says happy holidays and it is a magnet from Walt Disney World. Once again, I put in my preferences. There we go. So they have like some Towers, Small World is O, the D is, uh, oh my gosh, why can't I think? Tiki Room, oh my gosh, there's a churro, and a lot of this has to do with things that are also in my preferences, so that is perfect. I can't decide, so I might go in something magnetized to my room. Not sure. Alrighty. 
this is the last item. I mean, not to mention our super cool reusable bag. And I think that I heard the keychain in the middle of my keychain. So I think that this item is not actually broken, which I'm so excited about. Oh, it's not even actually. Oh, it's like a cheese board and it says, have yourself a Mickey Little Christmas. Or it's like a serving platter. Oh, cute. And this is totally one of their small shop items, which I absolutely love their small shop items. Um, they're like, they're so pretty and so pretty. They're very pretty and very well made. I swear I can speak, guys. All right, let's look at our packing slip. This is the, I believe, fantasy box. Yes, the fantasy monthly subscription box which I believe retails for, I think it's $69, maybe $65. I'll put it down below. I'll write it in right here at the bottom of the screen, how much the box actually costs. So I got our Lounge by Pixar Coco Seizure Moment two-sided enamel keychain, which like I said was on my wish list. Even though normally keychains are not on my wish list, but they did follow, or not on my preferences, but they follow your wish list. That is ten dollars. Ten dollars well worth it. My Disney Parks exclusive Happy Holiday Christmas magnet. Where did I just put that? Found it. I remember the paper. This beauty was fourteen ninety nine. Then we got the Foothills Forge Bibbidi Exclusive Custom Laser Engraved 6x8 Chartoutery Board, which is like a cheese board, <clears throat> and Mickey Little Christmas for $27.99. Well worth it. I've actually gotten um, some other items from Bibbidi. I will go ahead and link the um, my playlist up above and down below for my other Bibbidi boxes. I got something else from Forge for Fire, and it was spectacular, and I use them every day. So check out one, some of the other videos to see which other item I got from them. So they do great work and I love that. I got the Funko Pop keychain, Pixar Alien Remix Plus, and that was $5. Once again, this was on my wish list, so it's not normally something that I would see from my Bibbidi box, but I did actually ask for that. Um, Bibbidi exclusive park bound button, Mickey Little Christmas. Right here was four dollars. I skipped the Lounge by Disney Pixar Toy Story Alien Iron On Patch. This was six dollars, which I will find a way to use this somewhere. I'm like kind of redoing my room, so it might be something that shows up in a background. I don't know. Things are things are changing around here, which is why it's been a hot minute since I found stuff. And then our Bibby exclusive park bound button. Uh, inspired by Once Upon a Christmas Time was also four dollars. <throat> All right, oops. And that is a total value of seventy one ninety eight. So that is definitely over what I paid for the box. Like I said, I can't remember what it was, but you saw the price before down below, so you can do the math and figure out how much extra value I got. But I definitely get at least some extra value which is super great my favorite item is definitely charcuterie board sorry guys didn't mean to shake you because it obviously is so nice and like it's handmade and handcrafted and you just like you just can't like there's not really like a price tag on that like you can't compete with that with like commercial leaves i think i mean i guess you can but but yeah, so this is definitely the favorite item because like I said, like it's part of my like paring down phase and like not getting as much things in my life this year. I definitely appreciate things that are made and handcrafted because, you know, someone worked really hard making this and I really appreciate that. All right, <clears throat> that's enough of that. So I will see you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.